everyone, I am Punya Garwal, ACC affiliate and one of the admins of being ACCA and in today's video I will be answering few of the questions that you guys asked us on our Instagram page and we were not able to answer on the Instagram stories because it needed a little bit detailed explanation. So here I am with your questions and I will be answering approximately 14 to 15 questions which are non-repetitive so that it helps you and so let's begin. So the first question is if we go for a job while writing exams, does this year have a count on three years of PER? Yes, of course. You can start your, um, you know, a PER any time in your journey if because there are people who are experienced already and then they begin with ACC, right? So even if you're in your knowledge level, you can if you have gotten a relevant job, you that is eligible for PER. So when you are giving your uh, writing your exams, you are eligible for PER if you are working somewhere. So that answers that. Next question, uh, I am doing BCom but not from a college ca uh, college where campus placement is provided. So where to find jobs of ACC? Okay, now this question I have addressed I think quite a uh, lot of times. But just to answer, uh, if you are not getting jobs through campus placements, um, honestly it um, becomes a little difficult to be very honest. I'm not saying ki it is very very easy after you become an ECC affiliate, it's not. Uh, but you have to uh, you know put your hand everywhere so first of all companies websites are a very good source like even I have searched upon the company's websites uh, the careers website just go onto the website see what all jobs do they have and uh, what all um, openings do they have is there is it relevant for you if it is then apply then and there that is there then apply through LinkedIn I, th I have seen so many people getting uh, jobs through LinkedIn LinkedIn as well so try through that you can also message people on LinkedIn who are there from the same company but please be very polite with them do not be just like humko job chahiye aisa nahi karna hai please just be polite ki I am this this and uh, I just tell them your qualifications and tell them that I am looking for a job and you, if you have some openings or if you know of some openings just let me know I will be very grateful for you so please be very very polite with that um, you can also message people from the talent acquisition team of certain companies. Those are the people who are from the HR department. So they might be able to help you better with that. Other than that, um, Nokri.com is another very good option. You can search upon that. I haven't read any, you know, so many good reviews about that. But it is, you know, you can try your hand upon that as well. And uh, yeah, these are all the things that you can. Also, ACC Careers is a very good option. Uh, I like I didn't used to go through that but recently I think three, uh, three to four days I went through that and I really found like good companies over there so you can go ahead with like just register yourself with the ACC careers and you'll get like uh, regular job postings and etc from there so that is that um okay will I get job with only six exempted papers and with a B uh, BCom degree will I get a job okay so with a BCom degree you can get a job as a fresher uh, because uh, you can sit again with the campus placements and you know uh, there are many companies which hire only bachelors who are um, uh, who are freshers but as you are saying that you have gotten six exemptions so as uh, as of now as far as I know now in your transcripts the ACCA transcripts the ACCA mark sheet basically as you call it your exempted word will be written uh, you know if you have exempted that paper so the ex employer would know that you have exempted those papers so a simple logic here is that if so let's suppose like I have done all the papers I didn't exempt any paper and I go to a job and you are somebody who took exemptions who took four exemptions five exemptions whatever number of exemptions did you take so obviously the employer would prefer me over you because you have exempted certain papers and I have cleared all of them so that is the only thing but if you are if you are done with your bachelors then of course you can get like jobs very not very easily but you have to find the jobs for freshers so yeah okay 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ डबल पेपर अटेम्प्ट फॉर द प्रोफेशनल लेवल दैट यू माइट सजेस्ट ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द बेस्ट कॉम्बिनेशन इज एस बी आर एंड ट्रिपल ए इफ यू आर विलिंग टू गो फॉर ट्रिपल ए नथिंग बेटर दैन दैट बिकॉज अगेन द सेम लॉजिक अप्लाइज हियर इज वेल दैट इन लाइक इन एफ आर एंड डबल ए ऑल ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट दैट यू विल स्टडिंग इन एस बी आर विल बी यूटिलाइज इन ट्रिपल ए सो दैट इज द बेस्ट कॉम्बिनेशन आई गेव ट्रिपल ए रीसेट एंड एस बी एल टूगेदर सो दैट ऑल्सो वर्क फॉर मी सो यू कैन मे बी ट्राई यू नो ट्रिपल ए एंड एस बी एल इफ दैट वर्क आउट फॉर यू अदर दैन दैट आई थिंक दे इज नो यू नो पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट आई हैव सीन पीपल ऑल्सो गिव एस बी आर एंड एस बी एल टूगेदर and i so i've seen such pretty great scores on those so you may try sbr sbl sbr triple a sbl triple a so this is the possible combination in professional level okay next i am going to attempt audit next uh, session i am little confused where to start double a is my if this is my second attempt okay so with double a na it is a very simple approach it is a discursive paper it is a theoretical discursive paper you don't have any numericals in audit you have 70% uh, of subjective paper 30% is objective your mcqs based paper so now the simple approach uh, as i also like i make planner so i do always write this approach there also so there are two approaches first of all whenever you are understanding the concepts always always uh, write down the question you know uh, attempt the questions also from that topic for example you had a uh, risk risk and uncertainty topic you have a uh, rules and regulation ethics topic all of these topics right always uh, try and whenever you are doing the chapter simultaneously do the questions also from that chapter you will be able to understand the questions better now a simple approach for section c questions which is like most of the students are scared of because it is a subjective paper they do not know how to attempt that so a simple approach read down the question first of all highlight what what the question is asking for you for is it asking you to discuss all of those you know verbs you have to underline understand then move on to the case study read the case study and simultaneously highlight whatever you getting for the question like whatever the question is asking for example if it asking you the threats uh, you have your self review self interest all of these threats if you're getting any pointers for that just highlight it and understand that the case study and then write your own answers in your the answer script which is there if you do this from the starting only na it will become a habit you won't uh, because i've seen so many students they just read the answers because it is you know theoretical it is it is discussed we just read the answer and theek hai i i know it but it is not you don't know it until and unless you actually write the answer then compare the your answer with the examiner's answer till the time we do not know if it is right or wrong you cannot read the answers from the examiner's uh, you know answers and just be like yeah i know it it's not like that it's not that simple you have to write your own answers understand that then compare your answers with the examiner's answer and see if all the major points and major topics all the major phrases are there in your answer and if it is there then well and good if not you have to work on it right so simple approach is just write your answer compare it whatever points are missing make a separate note of it like write the topic whatever the topic the question was from for example ethics so write the topics write the pointers which you missed so that the next time that you revise you will be having a clear cut idea oh this this was the point that i missed last time so i'll be you know you will be better prepared this time so this is the only tech, uh, technique that you can apply uh, one more thing like this i actually learned in sbl when i was giving sbl one more thing you can do is that when you are reading the case study for example again it is a ethical um, ethics ka question and they've asked you to list down the uh, threats so now for example you got uh, a threat related to self review so pick up the line copy the line and paste it on your answer script and heading likh do self review threat for example then thoda niche gaye you got your um, uh, threat for self interest for example copy that line paste it there and write the heading as self interest so this way you have read the case study you have drafted your answer now you just have to elaborate now because then you don't have to read the case study again so this is also a technique which you can use 
so you can just try and see which of the techniques uh, work for you and because you have so many days right now right it's just the starting so if from the starting only you get a habit of what techniques work for you you will be able to understand uh, it better also for double i have seen uh, you know students uh, they are not very uh, you know typing skill is not very good so that is the reason that i'm saying that section c question should be practiced from the day one so that you have a typing speed skill as well like by uh, by that i mean that many students are slow in typing so uh, if you are practicing for two months straight you will get a very good hands on practice of the same right so that was the only tip that i wanted to give for double a moving ahead next question how get how can i get started with acc i am currently in 12th standard so in my opinion this is the best time that you can start you, with your um acc uh, we have posted a video for the same like how can you start what is the course and every other th every other you know uh, thing uh, we have posted a video i'll be linking that video down in the description box you can check that video out or you can also scroll down our uh, you know feed and check that video out we have posted a full fledged video on the same Okay next question is don't know english much can i give double a see there is no op there is no option that you have for double a it is a compulsory paper you have to give it now if you do not know english it can be it will be an issue in double a because again as i said earlier that it is a 70% discursive based paper you have to write so the only thing that you can do is uh, watch certain videos on youtube basic videos you don't need so much high fi english you don't need high fi english you need basic english for double a uh, what certain basic level uh, you know grammatical jisme grammatical uh, errors or wo sab batate watch those videos i would say because that will improve your writing skills so uh, grammatical wali videos dekh lo then again the practice part of it practice is very very important in double a as you went as you practice now you will get a hang of it so jitna zyada practice you will do utna zyada you will be able to understand it and even your english will improve through that so youtube videos and your practice i think this will do to overcome this issue next question is it possible to give three skill level papers together okay being too optimistic but um, honestly for me it was a big no uh, but i have very i have seen actually very few students taking up three skill level papers at once i'll tell you the reason why i'm saying that it is little you know difficult it is a lot difficult actually first of all if you are a full time ecc student then also it will be difficult for you because managing three papers in a uh, skill level takes a lot of you if if one paper is reset then maybe yes you can you know go ahead with it but if it is like a full fledged three new papers then it might become little difficult because see uh, if you go for if pm is a little technical paper you cannot you know club it with like other three papers taxation is a very lengthy has a very lengthy syllabus so again you cannot club it with any other paper then you are left with fr aa and fm for example if you are going with this combination uh studying three papers for two months simultaneously becomes really uh, really hard for you right because one day you're doing for example fr next day you're doing aa next day you're doing fm you'll get you'll get confused ki acha ye isme tha ye isme tha how will i you know understand the concepts well that can be an issue then uh you know during your exams also because you know during when when it supposingly we are giving december attempt now in the november end you will be you will be confused ki kiska mock karu kiska pass paper karu which pass paper should i to take which mock should i give today which uh, you know uh, webinar should i watch today it will be very confusing in your mind to be very very honest and then in your exam week also you will be having back to back papers and that might hamper the last paper that you are giving so that is the only thing that i say ki do not go with three papers at once it is too much uh, somebody asked me four papers also and i was like shit kya pooch rahe ho sorry for my language but like still it it is too much to it is being too optimistic if you are working for like six months on like four papers then you should divide like two two na to uh, give two in one quarter to give two another in the other quarter right so that is the only beauty of uh, acc that you have exams every quarter right so in my opinion no you cannot you shouldn't actually go with three papers uh, you can club two papers and then in the next time you can club two papers so yeah that was that okay next question why not fm after fr any particular reasons yes yes uh, a very big reason is after fr we always recommend that go for aa either take them up together 
टू पेपर्स एट वंस और गो विद डबल ए आफ्टर एफ आर वाई बिकॉज इन एफ आर यू विल लर्न ऑल ऑफ द आई एफ आर एस एस ऑल ऑफ द आई एस बेसिकली ऑल ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड एंड इन डबल ए यू विल लर्न टू लर्न हाउ कैन यू अप्लाई टू रियल लाइफ सनैरियोज सो अंटिल एन एनलिस्ट यू डू नॉट रिमेंबर और यू डू नॉट नो द स्टैंडर्ड आई एफ आर एस एंड आई एस इट विल बिकम वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू राइट योर आंसर्स इन डबल ए बिकॉज सी सिंपल लॉजिक अगेन If I am a tutor, if I am a teacher, and I am checking answer scripts of somebody, right? I am checking answer scripts of somebody, and I myself do not know what is the correct, you know, answer. For example, I do not know the concept. How will I check the answer? That is a simple logic in order. Also, you are checking the financial statements. If they are free from uh, errors, fraud, who I have, who I have, no risk, who I have, how will you get to know that they, there is no risk? There is no Mis statement in the financial statements until and unless you remember or know the IFRS as well, right? So that is a simple logic uh, because by the time you do FM after FR, then you go with double. There is a possibility that you would forget IFRS and and again you have to do double mehnat. You would have to again revise all of the IFRS. So, so it is better that you go with double A afterwards. It's not there is no compulsion to it that you have to have to go with double A, but it's just a recommendation that you should go with double A after FR. Next question. Uh, okay, this is a little personal. What is your personal experience in your current job? Is is it smooth or tough? Okay, so just for a background, um, I am working in EYGDS at the moment. It's been three years, uh, three months, sorry, approximately, and uh, I work as a as a consultant over here, analyst. And uh, to be honest, the experience is pretty great. The environment is very good. Uh, people are good people are friendly they are helpful because we are new we are freshers we do not know a lot of things and my uh, you know colleagues i would say they are very good uh, work is also good it's not too much it's not too less it's average uh, they give you like good training to understand the concepts they know that you are a fresher and uh, you might take little extra time to do a certain task which is good because obviously we don't we are complete freshers to be very honest right so the experience has been good it has been smooth at the moment we do not know aage kya hone wala hai but at the moment it is good okay next question is hey i'm still in school should i start stcc and knowledge level of course yes of course definitely shuru kar lo why why because um in your bt syllabus your f3 syllabus is same just like few extra topics are there in your f3 and bt uh, which you did in your uh, uh, 11th and 12th right bst is exactly similar to what you'll do in B, uh, business and technology paper f1 paper and uh, accounts your accounts paper is very similar to your f3 paper just there's an additional concept which is consolidation which is very important very important and very important for your fr and sbi both so yes you should start with uh, acca if you are thinking of pursuing acca from your school only because then you will be done with bt and f3 and by the time you're done with your 11th and 12th 12th basically you can go ahead with like f2 and f4 and then you can move ahead so that means that your journey will be smoother and will be faster also so that was for this next question okay if we go uh, okay so this is again a very uh, a personal question regarding being acca so how are both admins related what made you opt acca what made you start this page okay so uh, tushita is the other admin she is not here in the video uh, at the moment but uh, we'll film a video together regarding the same but just to answer the question me and tushita uh, have been friends since we were in fifth grade we were in same school and we have been best friends since then and there's no looking back there's no looking back in the friendship as well so uh, we started our acca together we started when it was locked down and uh, because we didn't had anything else to do because we had uh, you know our uh, college also online so we were thinking of doing some professional courses and we found acca and we started with it we started with it together we ended acca together so that was the beauty last question what made you start this page so it is a very funny thing not very funny but like yeah okay so me and tushita are, are both very introvert people we do not engage in like lot of social interactions we are very camera shy 
it is an irony i know but uh, we were and uh, in march last this year this year march we went to watch a movie and out of nowhere i don't know out of nowhere it was interval and i said to her i i actually saw some pages and i not acc related it was just random pages random instagram pages and i told her that even we should start one what do you think of it and she was like nahi yaar nahi hoga what would be the response and i don't think so we'll be able to do it I was like, let's try, let's try, because we were not, we were in college that time, and um, we were, we were having a lot of things on our plate, and we were like, chalo, let's start. Maybe, maybe we, you know, if even if we do not do good, there's nothing we lose, right? So we started in April, no, 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 February last this year, February last year. I'm so sorry, um, February last year, uh, this year, and uh, we started out of nowhere, and uh, the only thing that we knew that with this. page this community is that we have to help acc students that the that's what that was the only thing that was there in our mind any way we can help the acca people who are starting acca who are in their journey struggling have some questions because honestly speaking when we started our acca there was no one to guide us except our sir who told us about uh, acca he was the only only person who guided us throughout our acca journey nobody else kabhi kabhi aisa hota tha ki chote mote doubts hote the and we would like ki ye kis se puche so we wanted to be those people who actually the students can approach and ask anything about acc anything and jo hame pata we we will just let them know so that was the only motivation behind this and here we are with like we have a youtube channel which was which was never in my dreams i could never imagine this um we have an instagram page which is running very good touchwood so this was the only motivation and i think aage bhi this will be the only motivation that we want to want to help so many students we are not here for any business whatever people say it, but business to hai nahi for sure is just for the help of the students and um, yeah that's all so next question okay is acca a right career option because everyone doesn't know acca is it growing increasingly of course yes uh, when the time when we started me and tushita started we uh, us time pe acca or oh, actually people didn't know but now that i have seen so many people do know about acca and it has a growing market for sure now if you see in uh, you know job um, qualifications and and everything when it when they write the qualifications aspect of it uh, they do not only mention the ca they also mention acca ca slash acc so that is the uh, you know that is the stature which acca has come now it wasn't two years ago for sure but it is growing now so it does have a lot of uh, career opportunities career growth i've seen so many uh, like i'll not name it of course but i've seen so many mncs and companies who who do promotion of yours on the basis of acc like if you have qualified these many papers if you do acc they encourage you to do acc is acc so that is the thing where acc is at and of course it has a growing market for sure so okay next question is it necessary to do internship especially in big four or can we look straight for job honestly um it is not necessary me and uh, tushita both didn't do any particular internship like a good internship before we start for our placements um because that doesn't even matter like that that is not a criteria they ask you if you have done it if not then that's also okay but if it is if you're getting an, an opportunity to do an internship in like a good company then of course you should go ahead you get like good opportunities you have to take it but it's not necessary to get, uh, get job you can directly sit for jobs as well Okay, I think this is the last question that I'll take up. Will I get a job as I am in the middle of my ACCA journey? Seven out of thirteen papers uh, the person has cleared, and also a BCom graduate. Yes, of course, as I have said last uh, in the last question as well, you can uh, get a job, but this uh, this won't be based upon your ACCA qualification at the moment because you're not part qualified, you're not cleared your paper. You can get a job uh, on the basis of your bachelor's degree. so because you're a bcom graduate you can get a job uh, but not on your uh, acca uh, portion of it if you get like in a in a uh, big four kpmg ey or these companies then uh, you would get promotion or something like that on the basis of acca later on but at the moment you can get a job but um, on the basis of your bachelor's degree 
so these were all the questions that you people asked us on our instagram page and i um, answered through this if you have any more questions and if you want to make, uh, want me to make with tushita a part 2 of this video so do let me know in the comment down do comments down below and um, also you can uh, ask your questions ask your doubts on our instagram page which is uh, being acca and we'll be happy to help you